Hey everyone, you welcome back to our class Chem Easy International, where we justify most difficult topics in chemistry using examples that are readily and easily available and trying to find shortcuts whereby we can easily understand all the concepts that are you know ambiguous that are really difficult to understand. As for today, we are going to look at identification of anions, sequel to the many demands that we've received near and far that we should also devise ways by which we can students can easily identify anions all right already we have videos on how to identify cations i'm going to add it to the description i'm going to add it to the description of this video so today we want to look at identification of anions we all know what anions are negatively charged aeons negatively charged aeons of course, like philosophers would say, that to describe a man, you need one or two pages. But for women, you need a hundred of pages to fully describe who a woman is. So in, in, in the same vein, to describe anions, we are going to be having periodical videos. What that simply means is that it's going to be in episodes, all right? It's going to be in episodes. So today is just more or less introduction. It's more or less introduction. The objective, of course, is how to identify anions such as chloride aeons, bromide aeons, iodide aeons, uh, trioxyl nitrate 5 aeon, tetraoxyl sulfate 6 aeon, trioxyl sulfate 4 aeon, and so on and so forth. All right? Sulfide aeon. All right? Generally speaking, these anions are broadly divided into two. They are broadly divided into two. Because without giving you this prerequisite knowledge, it will be difficult to fully understand them. They are broadly divided. You can see them here. They are a host of others. They are not just this. They are a host of others. But as you can see them here, we can broadly divide them into, into what? into three, all right? Of course, apart from calling them anions, we call them acid radicals. We call them what? Acid radicals. Why do we mean by acid radicals? When you add hydrogen ion to each one of these guys, they are going to get acids, all right? So they are broadly divided into three, all right? They are broadly divided into three. The first one is um, uh, acid radicals, acid radicals of salts of volatile acids acid radicals of salts of volatile acids what is this nomenclature all about of course you know what acid radicals are all right group of atoms charged atoms whereby you have hydrogen ion you get an acid salt you know what salts are actually all right so of volatile acids volatile acids simply uh, what uh, uh, the strong acid of course volatility and uh, volatility of acid is not the same thing as strength of acid volatility simply means the ability of acid to vaporize easily all right acid radicals of salt of strong volatile acids and then we have acid radicals acid radicals of salt of weak volatile acids weak volatile acids and then lastly we have acid radicals acid radicals of non volatile acids non volatile acids acids that can easily vaporize this is the, the, the highest one is hydrochloric acid hydrochloric what acid hydrochloric what acid it vaporizes easily it turns to vapor easily just like fuel all right so which means acid radicals of such volatile acid hydrochloric acid is chloride ion and other halides other halides such as bromide ion other halides such as iodide ion and even trioxyl nitrate 5 ion all right these are the most volatile acid hydrochloric acid is top of the list nitric acid is also top of the list 
right? Then we have acid radicals of sort of weak volatile acid. Typical examples include trioxocarbonate 4 ion, hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4 ion. Are we there? And so on and so forth. Then we have acid radicals of non volatile acids. Typical example is tetra oxosulfate 6 ion, all right? And try, I mean, HP3O4, HP, uh, H3PO4, all right? That is a minus tetra oxophosphate, what? Phosphate 6 ion, all right? So we should, first of all, know this uh, classification. We should first of all know this classification. Now, once you know this classification, that we can divide acid radicals, all right? We can divide them, acid radicals, the anions, into three different classes. Into the salt, acid radicals of salt, of strong volatile acids. Volatile acid, hydrochloric acid. Volatile acid, triodonitrate 5 acid. Acid radicals of weak volatile acid. Weak volatile acid, you know, you and I know that we weak acid is triazocarbonate 4 acid, carbonic acid. All right? So one of the example, one of this is the example. This guy is also an example. In fact, SO3, 2 minus, is an example. Sulfide ion is an example. All right? These are weak, volatile acids. Then, thirdly, we have acid radicals of non volatile acids. Tetrazope 6 acid is non volatile. All right? And so on and so forth. Are we right? And so on and so forth. So, these guys here, once you know the classification, you should also know the reagents. Reagents that what that we can use to identify. All right. In in, in, in cations, we talked about precipitating agents. In anions, instead of precipitating agents alone, there are two ways by which you can identify anions. Number one, you can use precipitating agents. Number two, you can use oxidizing agents. We are going to talk about this uh, in, 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 in successive classes. So once you know this, you are good to go, all right? As for these guys here, the acid radicals of salt or strong volatile acids, the reagents that, are, that can be used to precipitate these guys out of a solution, you can use any of the strong acids. You can use any of the strong acids, all right? No, 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 excuse me. Excuse me. It is against this. For strong volatile acid, you use, you don't use any of the strong acid. However, you use H2SO4. For weak volatile acid, it's just like to balance up, you can use any of the strong acids. Precipitating agent here can be any of the strong acids. E.g., you can use HCl, you can use HNO3, and you can use H2SO4. However, for this guy, you can use barium chloride and barium trioxo nitrate 5. All right? So for this class, we are going to be much more concerned about these introductory parts. All right? 